this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners, and making an ETF video overview. We're big on systemization at Mission Winners. We've got a limited amount of money and a limited amount of time. Why don't we use it wisely, and why don't we use our time efficiently? Systemization helps. I'll give you an example. It's important to take a look at the ETFs, the industry groups. What's going on with them? That helps us see where there's strength or weakness. Areas to concentrate on or areas to avoid. Here we go. These are day charts. Clean and simple, nothing fancy. Cloud computing, CLOU. Owns a bunch of cloud computing stocks. What does this tell you? What did it tell you back here? Hey, you, what did it tell you here? Well, be careful. What did it tell you here? You better be out. Head and shoulder top. If you had sold, you missed this decline. The charts guide us. Autom autonomous vehicles, look at this. Electrical vehicles, look what this is doing. It's telling you, be careful with the stocks that this, this ETF owns. Ticker symbols, DRIV. All you got to do is look up top 10 holdings in DRIV. And you could have done it back here and avoided some pain. That's what we love. Dow Jones Internet, what does this tell you? It tells you stay away from some of the internet stocks or the internet stocks. Done. IBD 50. This is the IBD 50 ETF. Owns the big IBD 50 stocks. Owns the IBD 50 stocks. What's it tell you? Hey, it's below the 200 day. It was falling below. Look at this. It was falling below the 50 day on heavy volume. It's told us a couple of weeks ago. You better be careful. Okay. Don't be naughty or nice. There you go. Sorry. I had to say it. Gold. Look at the gold miners. It's telling you, stay away from gold miners. Junior gold miners. It told you back here, losing the 200 day. Stay away from the gold miners. Gold dropping. I mean, folks, look at this. Look at that drop. Look at that gap down. It's telling you, be careful, be careful with the gold stocks. There you go. Cybersecurity right here. This is a great lesson. Watch this. It's going up and everybody's beautiful and everything is great. Oh, it's losing the eight day, but that's not too bad. It's got support on the 21 EMA on volume. Oh, hope it's coming down to the 21, but volume's low. Oh, but lost the 21 on a pickup in volume, but not really heavy volume, but it lost that. Oh, but it's dropping a little bit further. Oh, but it's falling below the 50 day. Oh, everything's just fine. No, it's not. It was telling you, it gave you countless warning signs. Be careful, get out. Get out and wait. The stocks in that group, look at those and say, better be careful with those. Biotechnologies is just dead and it's been dead a long time. Leave it alone. Online retail. Look at this. It's been telling you. I mean, this is the 200 day. This is the 50. It's saying, I kind of be careful with the online retail stocks. There you go. Said it for months. North American technology started cracking down two weeks ago. Right there. Look at that. Had a top. Drops down here on a big pickup in volume. What's it saying? Hey, if you own some uh, technology stocks. This was two weeks ago. Uh, you better uh, be careful. And look what it's done since. Right there. Look at that. That's a haircut. And I can say that. <laughs> Here we go. IHI. Dropping down. Let's refresh this to make sure this is right. There we go. Just dropping. Medicine. Medical stocks. Be careful with them. Mid cap. Lagging. Down to the 200 day. Be careful with it. Home construction's hanging in. Look at this. Let's refresh it to make sure. Still hanging in, not too bad. But in the context of what the market's doing, what do we say? You better be careful here. Be cautious. There you go. This is a great maxim. I was an IBD meetup co-leader for 12 years, and I said this every month on the stage. Just because the market's open for business doesn't mean you have to do business. All right? Invest when it's a good time, when it's right. This owns a lot of the max list stocks. Look what it's doing. Be careful with max list stocks, small cap stocks. This broke out right here, runs up. We, we owned this and then sold it. Look at that. Aren't you glad you're not in it now? We made money. Today, you got a problem. Airline stocks. It's below the 200 day. The purple line's the 200 day. The air is better above the 200 day. And I know that's a bad pun, but I have to say it anyway. So anyway, losing this, I'll slide this over. See that? Runs up to the 200 day. Starts to fall below the 200-day. Don't argue with it. 
regional banks, there's really nothing going on with this. There it is. Below the 50-day on increasing volume, just be cautious. Biotechnology, another biotechnology ETF, stay away. Mid-cap, down to the 200-day, nothing to do with it, stay away. Meta, it's still chopping around a little bit. Hold on a second, we're going to refresh this. There we go. Ouch. Look at this. Down below the, look at this. Down below the 50-day, touch the 200-day. See that bar right there? You see the selling volume on that bar? That's a bar to say, hey, you might want to sell some of me. It's that simple. Charge talk every day. Our job, listen and act accordingly. You don't have to forecast. It'll tell you what to do. Oil services, there's nothing going on with this. Online retail, look at this. Eey. Be careful. And it lost the 50-day. Here's a great maxim for all of us. The air, the odds of making money are better above a rising 50-day. Just, just know that. Write it down. Look at these charts. Print these charts on. I had charts, a book of charts from years ago, well, decades ago, that I studied over and over, marked up to help guide, okay? Infrastructure, still hanging in here, but there's some selling in here, okay? See this? See that selling? Be careful with that. You don't want that losing the 50-day. Software, look at this. It's below the 200-day. It falls below the 50-day. Software, it's been telling you for a while. I mean, folks, check this out. This is the 200-day moving average. It lost the 200, rallied back up, and then it falls again. Comes back to the 50-day and drops right off of it. It's been telling you for a while. I mean, I'm going, folks, I'm going all the way back. Watch this. You'll like this. I'm going all the way back into August. Late August. Early September. Be careful with software. There you go. Isn't it great? Another software ETF. Below the 200. Leave it alone. NASDAQ 100. QLD. Love this. Love this ETF. Runs up. Reverses. Look at the distribution days here. Be careful with that. Be very, very careful with that. There's not real strong right here, okay? QQQ, same situation. Be careful with it. Retailing's hanging in, just hanging in. But again, the market's rough. Be careful with all of them. Oh, gee whiz, another cloud computing ETF. I'll be darned. This one looks bad too. Yeah, yeah. You just built a case. It was telling you back here. You better be careful. Look at the volume on that. See this? Boom. Boom. Look at the volume. Look at that volume pickup. It's saying, better be careful with me. You had the chance to sell lose in the 50-day. Okay? And now it's falling out 12 more points. We don't want to do that. Silver, tarnished. Steel, molten. Sorry. Had to do it. Dad humor. Dad humor. Here we go. Semiconductors, still chopping around. But I want to show you something very interesting. You can say... That looks pretty good, Pat. Admission winners, we combine price action with volume action. Green is good, red is bad. It's like, oh, this isn't too bad. There's a couple of some. Oh, oh that, that's not so good. Oh, that's not so good. Oh, that's not too bad. That's okay. Oh, that's not so good. There's some serious selling in this. Be careful. Okay? Am I saying it's going to drop? No, I don't know the future. All I know is that living in the now, there's some serious institutional selling. Just be careful. You combine it with the market action, it tells you just be cautious. Similar situation, semiconductor. Spiders. Look at the selling on that bar. Look at that. Goes up, falls on heavy volume. See that volume on that bar? It's telling you, you better be careful with me. And this is the S&P 500. It tells you then to be careful with most stocks. SSO leverage. Same, same situation. That baby was down on heavy volume Friday. Solar, nothing. Small cap, another small cap ETF, nothing. Oil, or excuse me, uranium, nothing. Oil, it's dropping. You just leave it alone. And it was telling you when it was starting to roll over. You better be careful with me. Aerospace and defense, not so good. Home Builders is hanging in, but you combine it with the price action of the markets and it says, be careful. Don't impose your will on the stocks. Don't just look at fundamentals and say, oh, it's got great numbers. Everything's fine. 
I can show you 20 charts right now, stocks that have an earnings per share rate of 99, and they're getting creamed, okay? So don't just lean on that. Admission winners, we combine both fundamentals and technicals. Put the both together, and it helps us make better decisions. Materials, lagging, 50-day. Energy, rolling over a little bit. Be careful. One saving grace, and I've got to refresh this. Here we go. Chopping around here. Be careful. Financials, lagging, lost the 50-day. Be careful. Industrials, bad. Be careful. Technology, get ready. Dropping on some volume in here. Be careful. Technology. Consumer staples, chopping around, nothing to do with it. Utilities, they're hanging in there. Now you can say, well, what are the utilities? They're defensive. They're defensive. When utilities are doing well, it normally means that the market isn't doing really well. They'll help you. Consumers, hanging in there, but again, not a lot to do with it. And watch this. We're going to refresh this one more time. And there we go. Down on fairly heavy volume. Just be cautious. Metals and mining, there we go, negative. Oil and gas, lagging below the 50-day. Retail, look at this. That's not good. That's a waterfall. And what was it telling you back here? You better be careful with retail. There you go. That helps us. Software, another software ETF. How many software, cloud computing software ETFs? How many have we looked at that were starting to fall several weeks ago? And you know what that did? It guided us to say, stay away from that group. And if you're in that group, be careful, lighten up. Continue onwards. Here we go. The max list stocks. There's Apple. We own Apple from down here. We sold several times in the strength. We are still in great shape. We don't let the overall market guide us. We let individual stock action guide us too, which is why we are still in Apple with a good gain. Amazon, bought here, sold into strength, out of it, never. I mean, folks, this is like almost 200 points. You don't let a 200 point profit turn into a loss. Out of it for profits, and now we just rest easy. Don't have to mess with it. Good work, good work. Alibaba, this is just ugly. Nothing to do with it, leave it alone. Baidu, nothing to do with it. We haven't been in it. We haven't been in this for months, months. Same thing's true with Baidu. Why? Watch. That's the 200 day. We don't mess with it. That's simple. Just that simple. Helps us. Keeps us on the right side of the action, and I like that. Facebook. Rally here. Nothing to do with it. Bad. Google. Nothing to do with it. Leave it alone. Had a good ride here, but right now, there's no high probability patterns. So what do you do? Just leave it alone. Goldman Sachs. Look at this. This is for everybody. We bought this on this bar. And it lifted up. And then it dropped and we sold it quickly for an extremely small loss. I'm not talking like 7%. No, probably less than 1% loss. Price is good above the line and bad below. It fell. It sold. Sold right in here. Let's suppose we sold it for 418, 490, whatever. 418, look at the thing hit 377. I mean, we're out of it. We missed this whole decline. That's smart. That's just good business. If you focus on some conceptually simple patterns and foundations, life is much better. MasterCard, nothing here. Nothing. Just leave it alone. That's the 200 day. Nothing to do with it. Microsoft, great run. Bought right here. See that break? See that cleaning symbol? See that nice trend? That's huge. That's huge. And guess what? We sold into strength. <laughs> we sold more here. Sold our last shares losing here. Done. Locked in the profits. We can rest. Don't have to force things. Netflix. Buys here. Buys here. Great run. Sells into strength. Sells up here. Sells dropping here. Last sales right here. On this bar, out of it, locked in great profits. We're fine. NVIDIA, this is a higher low pattern. See, I'm going to make this bigger for everybody. This is a great education. This is one of our powerful patterns that I've used, oh gosh, this century. Um, hits a low, rallies, hits a higher low, starts to lift up. You see that bar right there? 
See the volume pick up on that bar? That was our first buy. Now, do you see this clean and simple base setup? I'll make this bigger for you. See that clean and simple base setup? Lifts through those tops right here. That's our second buy. And look at the run right here. You buy here. We'll say you bought it for $212 and you bought more for $222. Okay. So I'll say that your average cost is $216. Okay. $216. Look at the run. Folks, even today, right there, that's a that's 90 points today or Friday. Okay. We sold some up here for over 100 points. Letting it run, reversal bar, sell some into it. In great shape. Price alert set. Locked in large profits in control. Square nothing. Tesla. This was a great run for us. I mean, a great run. All right? Now, it's choppy. Tried to buy it right here. I'll tell you, this is for everybody. See this lift here? Starts to lift. Reverses back down. Sold for an extremely small loss. I mean, I'm, I'm talking like maybe three, five points. That's it. And we're out. And look what it's done since then. We can rest. That's the good thing too. The rules, the tactics combined with the discipline allow you to rest. And that's important. To wait. Twitter, there's nothing to do with this. The tweets ain't helping. Leave it alone. Visa, nothing to do with this. That's the max list. This was a seven minute video. In seven minutes, you have a great understanding of strength and or weakness in the market. And that helps guide us. We're big on its systemization, admission winners. The other video that's going to be coming out are the ETFs. What are they doing? That helps us see strength or weakness in industry themes. You find a strong industry, you'll find strong stocks in that industry. Put it all together. Guides us in, guides us out. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.